And now we want to take you to Raleigh, North Carolina, where we're going to get another update regarding that shooting. Today has been a very difficult day in our city. You know, you pray that something like this will never happen here. It did. And I want to thank all the officers who responded in the way they did. They put themselves in danger to keep our city safe. I also want to thank all of the officers in our governor for their swift response, for their compassion, and their care for our community. I think Governor Cooper would agree with me, as I said earlier, we have to end this mindless gun violence that is happening in our country. We have work to do, but there are too many victims. And so we have to wake up. I don't want other mayors standing here at the podium with their hearts breaking because people in their community died today, needlessly and tragically. I do want to say though, that I know the strength of our community and I know we will come together and we will work together and we will work for change. I'd now like to ask the governor, to please come up. He has a few words that he would like to say. Thank you, Mayor, for the coordinated response tonight. Tonight, terror has reached our doorstep. The nightmare of every community has come to Raleigh. This is a senseless, horrific, and infuriating act of violence that has been committed. The first thing we need to do is to thank the coordinated effort of law enforcement. I know we have Raleigh PD and all of the good work that has gone on there. I have with me tonight our North Carolina Secretary of the Department of Public Safety, Eddie Buffalo. Uh, as soon as I found out about this, I instructed the Secretary to make all state resources that were necessary available to Raleigh. Highway Patrol, Highway Patrol Aviation, ALE Special Agents, Capitol Police, and the SBI all were dispatched to assist the Raleigh Police Department. These law enforcement officers ran to the crisis when they knew that there was an active shooter who was ready to kill people. I'm grateful for the coordinated effort that happened here tonight. You know, all of us have many questions. I know the media has many questions. And RPD here is heading up the investigation, and I know that more information will be given to you. But as we seek answers to those questions, let's all pray for these victims, their families, the communities that have been shocked by this, and that we all depend on each other and help each other during this difficult period of time. Thank you, Secretary Buffalo, and all of the state resources that were uh, used to assist this effort. I'm grateful for their good work, and thank you, Mayor. Secretary Buffalo, thank you for being here. Thank you for your swift response as well. 
I would also like to recognize um, our city manager, Marshall Adams David, who is with us this evening, our fire chief, Griffin, Stephen Bentley, our director of parks. And um, I'm going to invite Lieutenant Borneo to come up now. He is going to give you a briefing um, and latest um, news. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor. And on behalf of Chief Patterson, Governor, thank you very much for your support and for being here tonight. Um, Chief Patterson is on her way back. She's on a flight as we speak. Just would like to provide you an update regarding tonight's today's incidents at approximately 9.37 tonight. The suspect in this incident was taken into custody. A white male juvenile was arrested by the Raleigh Police Department. In addition, a responding police officer who was injured and hospitalized has been released. One victim remains in critical condition. As we continue to support the families of the five victims, <clears throat> including an off-duty police officer, uh, and as the mayor said earlier, this has been a heartbreaking day for our city, and we appreciate the support of the entire community. We have currently set up a place at Wake Med where the families of the victims can gather. We want to remind everybody that this is still an active investigation. Our officers and investigators are currently on scene, collecting evidence and speaking with witnesses. We will provide an update tomorrow morning at approximately 8.30 a.m. here at the Raleigh Municipal Building. I want to reiterate, thank you again to all the public safety partners who have supported us in this investigation. Thank you. Do you have to take any questions at this time? Any more on the uh, four other people who were shot and killed tonight? <clears throat> not, it's not, not at this time. Again, this is still an active, ongoing investigation. Can we just talk about your emotions also really quick? I don't want to necessarily go on that too much, but you're reading this, I can tell, and I, Mayor, I heard you too. I mean, just how are you guys doing? For the Raleigh Police Department, every Raleigh police officer is a brother or a sister. So when we lose one of our own, uh, it is a tragic, heartbreaking day for all of us. Uh, and we will need the support of the entire community in the coming days. I'm sure a lot of people in the Headingham uh, community are on edge right now. Is there a present danger at this point? Do they have any access to their homes? Again, we, we have taken the suspect into custody and there's no active ongoing threat in the community at this time. The suspect is a juvenile. How old was the suspect? Right now, we're, we're, he, he is a juvenile. I realize it's very early uh, in the investigation, but is there anything at all that suggests any of these folks were targeted in any way? Again, this is still an active investigation. Motive, uh, the reasoning behind their actions is, is, is going to come to bear in the, in the coming days. Can you talk about how you went? Did you guys have to go in and remove the suspect, or were you able to just talk to them? Again, those, those details are currently being developed, and we'll have more information for you hey, in the future. Hey, everyone, we appreciate your time tonight. We appreciate your questions. They've got a lot of work to do. We'll be back here in the morning for you.